Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers Undercover video. I am your robot building host for today, Mad Dog. I'm bringing you Robocraft, a build episode. Don't forget guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, it makes such a lovely sound. And please, please don't forget to take a bite of that like button, not literally. And please, please don't forget to share the content, help us expand the Slackers universe. How's it going guys? Mad Dog here with another Joy of Robo Building episode. I really hope y'all enjoyed the last one. Uh, if y'all have seen my latest update to fireworks from the last video I did, I decided the hovers weren't working so I'm just gonna briefly go back over it. I added wheels instead. The reason why I was hesitant to add wheels in the first place was because I believed that this laser would not go on the side if it interfered with the ground. See how it's going through the ground? But for some reason it still let us put it on there. So I'm not sure if it's because we built it up in the air and then lowered it down or what, but I don't know. It's worked out pretty well this way. Uh, still get destroyed pretty quickly if more, if two or more robots are there but one-on-one -on -one, I annihilate people so or if uh, I go with a group of friends over there you know just stay in the back supporting them with the the big gun right there it does pretty good but all right uh, I had a another vehicle in mind and uh, yeah let's uh, go ahead and make a new robot and right, we're gonna build from scratch Alrighty guys, uh, first off we'll go over what we're going to need today. I'm going to be building another race car. I want another fast vehicle that can take take people out. So we're going to mostly concentrate on light cubes, medium cubes, and maybe some compact cubes. We'll see. Uh, for movement, we're going to be using the tires. I'm not sure if we're going to be using the T2s or T3s. We'll see how big they are. Uh, also, we'll be using some thrusters here, probably the T4s and up. And for weapons, I believe we're going to go ahead and go with the the lasers. We're going to go with the T4s here, because they do a great deal of damage and they're very quick to fire, so I want a bunch of those little buggers all over the place. <laughs> Uh, I believe we'll also have some melee on the front here, so I'm not sure if we'll use the T2s or the T3s or the even the, the big T4s, so <laughs> we'll see what works out best. And uh, and if we have room, we will uh, put a energy module as well. And of course, some happy little shields here and there. You can't forget the happy little shields. It's a must on every every vehicle we make. And if we have time, room, we will definitely use some of these cosmetic parts. But we are going to use the will we use that seat or the seat. Let's see how big this one is. Yeah, that would be the appropriate seat. So yeah, let's go ahead and just go with that. Actually, let's make sure we put him in the center. There we go. Alright, don't forget guys, mirror mode is your best friend. And let's start off with those cubes. Alright, if I push the right button. <laughs> uh, if we can, we'll try to include headlights on this build too. I think that'd be nice. But if not, I have another build in mind that I've been wanting to do for a while. And now that we have uh, smokestacks, I will be able to do it. So, Alright, we're going to start off with some compact cubes. I want to make sure we protect <clears throat> our driver here. So, let's go ahead and get those. Put us around him. I'm not going to use too many of these guys because they do use up quite a bit of 
uh, CPU there, as you can see. But we want to make sure that the uh, the core is very, very durable. I think that's that's probably good enough right there, actually. Alrighty. All right, let's make this vehicle go up some now. Actually, this one's right here. We will replace with. Uh, do, 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 where are you? There you are. There we go. And now let's raise up our robot right so. Alright. Now we gotta make sure we connect him to it. Alright. There you go. All right, there's the core of our robot. All right, now let's switch to some nice, uh, nice medium cubes. <clears throat> Maybe we should do the light cubes on the inside. Do like, uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. But first things first, we need to, hmm, we can go about doing, tricking it like this. Let me see how we can trick the glass. We need to put that glass there before anything else, so let's go ahead and get that nice slanted glass. I'm not sure if we can put it right here. There we go. That works. Can we... We can, yes. There we go. Perfect. Now he can see out. See where he's driving. I like it. And... Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if we can fit a square piece of glass in there. Nope. Darn. Didn't think I could, but let's at least get that in there, like so. Hmm. They don't have a thin glass like I would like there, so. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I'll just leave it open for now. He needs a little fresh air anyway. All right, let's go ahead and get those light cubes now. <clears throat> there we go. Gotta make sure that this thing is plenty long enough. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and do a bottom layer as well. I 
actually, I think we're not going to do that because I think that's where we're going to have the tires attach. There we go, I like it. That looks nice. All right. All right, let's see what size tires we want to put on this thing before we proceed. So let's look at the T3s. Okay. I think the T2s are the way to go. So when you go two more down, it looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and raise that bad boy. Actually, I think right there will be good. Let's see. Let's lower it down one. Go ahead and put those there. Put those there, and let's go ahead and get these. Put those there like so. Oh, we put those way off. Let's go ahead and redo that placement. Should I take those back? Let's put steer tire in the center and then we'll put another regular tire right there. There we go. That'll make for a good, uh, very good turn radius there. Alright, now we want the medium sized cubes. Looking good, I like it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Don't mean to do that to you, but my throat just has not been happy lately. All right. Just for argument's sake of durability, let's go ahead and <clears throat> use a few more compact. And let's get those compact cubes. And actually, you know what? Go ahead and just go out with compact cubes right here. There we go. And now, actually, I will change these to these ones. just to give it a nicer look. 
Alrighty. Looking good, I like it. Now let's go ahead and do those corners. And then we can do this like so. And this down like that. And let's do some cubes here. And for there, we can use these ones again, I believe. will fit perfectly. Or would it look better without those? Probably would look better without those. Let's do the triangles instead. <clears throat> and now we can get the light cubes. Or we could do one more set of these. Come on. There we go. That's what I want. All right. Interesting looking race car, but let's just go with it. <laughs> All right. Now let's go ahead and get the attack on here. Let's see how big the two. Yeah, let's go one more. Oh yeah. There we go. That looks nice. I like it. Now, since we have all this extra room back here, let's go ahead and get that energy module that I wanted on here. Okay. There we go. Looks good. <clears throat> hmm. Still don't like how blocky this looks, but I think we can fix that. Let's see here. Let's go back to cubes. Let's go ahead and protect this thing as well. Uh, we need these cubes. There we go. Actually, let's go ahead and swap those out. And let's go ahead and start dropping this stuff down. Oh, I guess we would need to use those, huh? Actually, I think these, no, those don't even fit? Wow. I thought for sure those would fit. No issue. Hmm. Interesting that those don't fit right there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to decide whether I should push all the tires out one more or not. And it'd be very hard to hit just right there, so I'm just going to say that that should be okay right there. But, hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It's not going to look exactly the way we wanted it to, but... Uh, let's go ahead and do these cubes right here. Wait, why didn't you select the cube I wanted? Okay. I guess I needed to switch this to 
that cube after all. There we go. And now, I guess we need to let's do the square first. And then now we can do. Actually, the triangles will work there perfectly. At least I thought they would work perfectly. <laughs> hmm. We're still going to go back up with this. Alright, because now we're going to build up like so. Hmm. Yeah, I think that would be best. Let's go ahead and get these light cubes again. there. We need to get it the same level as that. So we need to go three higher. That'll work. <clears throat> Alright, and then we're going to make this look like a wing. some side there we go and now one more set of cubes there we go there we go I like it that looks good and now we need to do that number right there. Awesome. And now to make a nice bumper. Now, what kind of bumper do we want to make on this thing? I kind of feel like using these parts right here. These in particular. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't look good. What else could we use? I just have to use some shields, I guess. Yeah, let's use some shields. So let's go ahead and get those cubes again. And let's get those compact ones there. There we go. And let's see what shields look good on the back.
be an interesting wing. I like it. Yeah. Too close to do it that way again. <laughs> Could do it like that though. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I like it. Let's not forget to uh, add the weapons on here at some point. <laughs> Alright, let's keep the bumper simple then. Oh, you're kidding me. Really? That's going to overlap? Interesting. What if we do these? And can we fit a flat shield in there? Nope, we can't. Okay. The, the chances of them shooting that little area, though... But I do like the way this wing looks. <laughs> Alright, let's get the rest of these light cubes over here. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Make that look nice and flush. I like it. Alright. Let's get the guns on here, huh? You know what? We're going to make that look better. There we go. Let's go ahead and get those compact cubes again. There we go. Bam. And bam. There we go. That looks a lot better. So I don't know what's going on right here, but... Oh, we still need to get some thrusters on here, don't we? Let's go ahead and do those now. I have a feeling the cheetahs are going to be the only ones that will fit here. There we go. I wonder if we could fit some right there. No. I had to go down even lower, huh? There we go. All right, let's get these guns on here because we don't even have weapons on here yet. We need to make sure that we can uh, fit some guns, huh? There's one. There's two. There's three. Or, actually, can we put that one further back? No, we can't. Alright. I was hoping to get a few more on here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, I know where we could fit one. We're just going to have to do this. It's not going to look the prettiest, but actually, if we do this right, it'll actually look really good. Let's get these compact cubes like so. And then we can do some corners in here. There we go. Ooh, I like the way that looks. And now, we should be able to fit one more right here. All right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, right? One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got six on here. That looks pretty good. All right, let's take this thing for a test drive then, shall we? Let's see how it does. Definitely fast. No problems turning. No problems jumping. Oh, we almost make it to the top. Oh, doesn't that look sick right there? Those wing, that wing on the back, it's so riced out. <laughs> that would be what you call <laughs> pimping your ride. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Let's see if we can't add a few more, a few more thrusters on there since we got the room. Alrighty, there's got to be a good spot where we can add a few, a few thrusters. Get some more engines to this thing. If we can, I would prefer using the really nice ones. There we go. I don't even think, yeah, it doesn't block right there, so that's good. Now, if we were to go right there, yeah, that wouldn't fit. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to fit any more big ones on here. Let's see if we can't fit some under here, maybe? No, fortunately not. Oh wait, does that fit? No, it doesn't fit. It pushes it up. Now if we put the little thrusters, I think well, maybe the cheetahs will fit even fit. No, that's gonna drag the ground. I can already see it. Let's see if these these drag the ground or not. So we can put at least three of those. Oh no, those will work fine. Those will work fine. All right, now let's see if we can fit some of these bigger ones back here. We can fit those there. Can't fit that. Let's put those fours there. That'd be nice. Oh, we can fit a four here. There we go. Yeah, I knew that would be too big. But the threes look like they fit just right, right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Anywhere else look like we can add some? Let's see. Maybe the T2s? Yes. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see how well it does now. Let's test drive that again. Oh yeah, that is definitely quick. Oh 
Oh, yes. I love it. Oh, my goodness. It's unstoppable. Oh, I've reached the top. <laughs> Sick jumps. <laughs> oh, yes. This makes me very happy in a way y'all don't even know. Look at that. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. We love this creation right here. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. Go back to editing the robot. We have to make sure we put a racing stripe on this thing. Alright. It's gotta be blue. Blue, red, and yellow, I think, is what I'm gonna go with on this one. Let's choose the main blue first, though. There's another blues here, right? Yeah. Gray blue. think oh yeah let's do that dark blue right there all right I think red will be all of the engines oh yes That looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and make that thing red too. Yeah, that looks great. People we'll make these weapons in the front red too. Look at that pop. Mmm. Weapons too, maybe? Oh yeah, red wheels. Now the shield bits, I think we should leave, should we do those yellow? And we'll do the racing stripe down the center. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, oh, I wanted that. Hmm. Maybe I would like these red. I don't know. I don't think the yellow works for the shield bits. Should we do one more strike down the side, maybe? Hmm. Or maybe we should have done a double... double strike. Yeah, I think double stripe would look better. Alright, let's go ahead and get this back the blue it's supposed to be. Okay, 
Now let's switch that back to... Was there another yellow too? There's like a darker yellow. Ugh, no. That yellow sucks. There might have been... Yeah, there's one more yellow. How does this look? It's more gold. Yeah, I think I like that one better. Okay, yeah. There we go. Now you're talking. make sure that we get that going throughout the whole thing all right Ooh. we have to remove that glass real quick so we can Paint down. There we go. All right. Looks good. Oh, yes. we go that's 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 better I like that I like that a lot a lot 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 I do see a way we can improve that as well there but let me get this glass back first what color do we want the glass do we want it Yeah, that works. Let's switch back to this, get the glass back in there. There we go. That works. All right. And I want to keep that guy blue. Maybe I want to make him red. There we go, that looks great. All right, let's go back to the blue because I have an idea for these corner edges right here. All right, I believe the compact have, yes, pyramid, there it is. Boom. Now that looks a lot better, oh yeah. Alrighty, guys. Yep. I'm happy with that. Let's go take it for a test drive again. With the final final product. I'm still not 100% sure if I want those shield bits to be red, though. You know what? I dig it. I dig it. Now the wheels aren't protected, but I'm hoping that doesn't matter too much. Since I have so many of them. <laughs> and I have three sets of steering wheels, so should always be able to turn it.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the blades in the front should protect them for a couple hits at least. And then from there it'll be the f yeah, the sh and then the shield bits in the back will protect them when I'm like trying to make a getaway. So, yeah, I think I think we're pretty good coverage. Pretty good. The only other thing I could think of to do would be remove these and do like the curvy shield bits, but I don't think we have enough CPU left for those. How much do they cost? 28 both. We only have, no. We could barely, yeah, we could do one and that would be it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well, let's go fight some, let's go fight some, some AI, see how this thing works versus AI, and then we'll give it a name. This is Team Deathmatch. Kill the enemy team to win. The first team to reach the target total wins. See ya. <laughs> the battle for Vanguard's end has begun. God, we're fast. Not faster than the guy on the left, but I think that's due to him being uh, a plane of some kind. Nice. That worked out nicely. <laughs> Nicely shaped bot you got there. And we can get out of there quickly. That is working nicely indeed. Yes, I think this is going to do nicely. What are you dying to over here? What killed you? Two 
robots have been just destroying our team back here. team a point if I don't get out of there safely. I shot every single robot almost except for the last one yeah I think that robot's gonna work out nicely alrighty uh, I think we're gonna have to change names this one's gonna be speed racer because there's no way the other one's speed racer anymore or we should retire that one maybe yeah I think it's time to retire that one There we go. I forgot to look at the item shop. Yeah, we still got a ways away before they have new stuff, but... Uh, where are you? So we had this one called Speed Racer, but... Hmm... I don't know if I should keep this one. Let's just ne rename it to How about we'll name it Healing Done There we go. Healing done quick. There we go. I like that. And now you shall be known as Speed Racer. There we go. Oh, yes. I do wish there was something I could do about the top a little better, but yeah. This part right here bothers me a little bit, but not enough to ruin my day, so. Alrighty. I mean let me let me look at one thing real quick here. Before we go. See if that would look weird or not. Uh, we need the pyramid ones, again, for what I'm thinking, and we also need it to be the blue that we like. Alright, now if we do away with those, we can go like that instead. Oh, okay, I think I like that better. Oh yeah, I think I like that better. 
Okay. That 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 helps. That helps a lot. Actually, let's go ahead and just do that same thing right here. And here. Nah, we'll leave that one alone because we need the coverage for the for the engine there. But yeah, looks great. I like it. And I'm going to say that is a successful robot. Uh, we will be doing a test run with this one next though, so uh, stay tuned for that episode. And yeah. Uh, I guess that would be the only other thing I would say that would be awesome if I did too, if I duplicated the top below. Uh, I don't think I have enough cubes to, or CPU left to do that though. <coughs> I would have to go to there. That's one, two, Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'd have to do it with light cubes if we did if we reproduced it down there, eh, which is not undoable. But I guess let's switch those two cubes instead. The compact cubes. Where are you at? There you are. Alrighty. And then, how did we do it on top here? Let's just look at this again. Okay. So, starting here, starting right, yeah, starting right there, we did the slanted cube. So, this one actually needs to be switched out. You need to be this one right here. There we go. And then that allows us to do this cube here. And then it'll be a slanted cube like so. Right there, yep. And then... There we go. Right? I guess it will bother me if I don't do the same with the same gold. Can't tell. Let's see. Nope, that is not the same gold. There it is. Okay, it's next to the green. Got it. Let's switch back that and that. Alright. Alright, let's lift that ride up in the air. And we'll just do the racing stripes on the bottom like make it go throughout the car. There we go, that'll work. All right, yes. That makes me very happy. And it's not really covering up the second blade at all, so that's cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, I will call that a successful robot right there. Oh, <laughs> let's lower it back to the ground, shall we?
There we go. All right, now saving quick. Yeah, because we don't need it uh, hovering on the ground like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is all we have for today. Thank you all for joining me in this video. Hopefully you built along or uh, or you duplicated this and did a variation of it that you think is better. If you did, let me know and uh, put it in the comments down below. Take a picture of it, put it in the comments. I'd appreciate that. And uh, yeah, any more requests, bring them in. I, I, I'd love to do some more robots for you guys. So yeah, this is Mad Dog signing off. And don't forget to join me as we howl at the moon. Slack underground. Bye bye. Arr, arr.